<laughs> All right, everybody, make sure we sign the sign-in sheet. Everybody gather around. Hope everybody had a good weekend and enjoyed spring and summertime, and it's now winter again. <laughs> All right. You know, when it comes to cable rails or wooden guardrails, they're all put there for a reason. Uh, either contractors such as Seco, either they're going to put it up for something that's coming up that they've got to uh, close that out and then pour that back in concrete, whatever the case may be. Nobody's allowed without authorization to take down somebody else's guardrails or cable rails. They're there for perimeter protection or fall protection, so please be aware of that. Last week I talked to Mike with Seco. Uh, and we're talking about our $25, our weekly safety incentive deal. Uh, he nominated Roderick Williams. Roderick, you here? There he is. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> Roderick, what size shirt you wear, man? Extra large. Extra large? You follow me inside after this, I'll get you an extra large shirt, man. I appreciate all you do out here, okay? Have we had any minor injuries or anything off the wrecking crew? Anything? Anybody get their feelings hurt? Anything like that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for every man that is here. Dear God, I ask that you be in every heart of every man here. You know their pains. Protect us, Lord. Forgive us of our sins. These things we ask in Jesus' name and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. stations we invited 19 we invited the mayor some city officials the police department the fire department and we put out 80 flyers in the neighborhood and then we're going to put out uh, some more flyers uh, my team's coming back on Monday to put another 80 flyers back out saying don't forget so then we have some music outside we have pizza we're going to give away some raffle ca uh, gift cards um, so and hopefully the, the whole purpose of it is to engage the community you let them know what's going on here because as we build this beast there's gonna be a lot more parking issues there, there may be some trash issues there may be some noise issues uh, but if they have our business cards um, we can direct all the complaints to Jimmy so I'm the um, guy in charge of it all uh, so um, me and my team in partnership with Harvard uh, have a awesome opportunity to build this uh, unique high-rise building in Birmingham Alabama I think the personality between Harvard and, and Cortland Partners is exceptional. You know, we just got lucky, you know, um, because we both work so diligently on open communication and being transparent. And and it my problem is their problem and their problem is our problem. Um, we, we have one ultimate goal and we have to work together. So we're, we're, hopefully we'll have a good turnout. If not, we try. Let me tell you about a few of the guys that I feel like have a lot of promise. And there's Alex. Alex that was sent to me as a carpenter with the potential to turn him into an assistant superintendent. I've got him on what I call uh, the front line. That's the front line where we're getting ready to pour the next lab. It's always the front line. We got, we got one more embed right here to put in. He's already got that one on. This is for our stairs, for the risers. They'll, they'll weld, weld their beams on there for the stairs. And uh, we got one right here that it's in the metal, so we can't really nail that onto the plywood like we'd like to. So we got this fiberglass rebar that's gonna go in there. And uh, as soon as our rod buster moves out of the way, we'll, we'll get that put in. That'll be our last one. They can close this wall up and we can pour it this afternoon. Elton is uh, considered a full-time employee, but he is still in school. And But what he wants to do is stay in this industry and he wants to be a superintendent and run work, ultimately. We kind of got to tie it generally where it goes or else you got to pull all this rebar apart and stick it in there and then nail it off. So we got it tied generally where it goes. Now we got to nail it off. Or we can't nail this one because there's aluminum behind it. So we get, where's that rebar? Here it is. So we get this stuff, this fiberglass rebar, and we'll stick it against that plate so when their wall comes on, it'll push our embed back to where it needs to go. Waiting on a rod buster. Let's go, Shorty. Just gotta put that embed in there. All right, we're gonna get it started. Yeah, let's get started. All right, give me y'all's attention. Falls have been 
deadly to construction workers for quite a long time. Back in 2016, 991 construction workers lost their lives on the job. Out of those, 370 were from falls. That comes up to 37%. That's an awful high number. Jerry, I'm with a company called Peer Safety. We're the home of Guardian and Web Devices Fall Protection. We're a manufacturer right out of Houston, Texas. Rule of thumb, it wants to hold up 5,000 pounds. A lot of force put on the body. When you're using a self-retracting device, you want to pull out the cable all the way. Because it's a serious business, people, we're in fall protection. Today's our grand opening that we've been waiting for for a couple weeks now. And we had thought a while back that we needed to engage the neighbors. And what a better way to you know, have them over, meet them, have some giveaways, pizzas, some drawings. You know, we didn't know if anybody's going to show or not. I mean, we, we had hoped that the neighbors were going to be interested in what we're doing here. And fortunately enough, they were. We had a, a great turnout. The weather turned out awesome. The news uh, stations were here today. The, we have a huge uh, fire department uh, still here. Uh, so the turnout was great. We had some neighbors that had been uh, wondering what this was going to be. Some thought it was going to be a hotel. Yeah, but it was just really nice. The neighbors, we had a good turnout. They, they wanted to know what was going up, how tall the building was going to be, when it's going to open. Um, so it was, it was a good turnout. Very, very pleased with it.